Hey guys, and welcome back to another Magic Box tutorial. In this one, we will see how we can turn World Painter height maps and import them into Magic Box to create something that looks a little bit like this. So now let's go ahead and get started. So with World Painter open, let's go ahead and create a new file and title it whatever you want. And over here in dimensions, set it to a number that's reasonable. If you set it to something like 500, you can see it will automatically create uh, a number in multiple of 128 because that's just how World Painter works. So we're going to keep both dimensions the same. So 512 by 512, keep on the flat and change the water level so that the water was above the land. And we're going to make it lower too. Something like that. Hit create. And now we want to go ahead and go to view, show 3D view, and drag this so that it fits in a small window. Like that. And then hit lock. So now if I make a click outside that window, it this window stays open. Basic controls. So if you click on the raise and lower terrain. To increase the size of the brush, it's just the middle mouse wheel. To rotate the brush, you can hold down Alt and middle mouse button. For uh, brushes, we don't want to use these brushes. We want to use some sort of custom brush. I managed to get these custom brushes for free following a video tutorial from a, another YouTuber who I will leave in the description below. He has a pretty good tutorial on how to create Minecraft uh, height maps using World Painter, and he has custom brushes which you could download for free. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on the brush and then start by left mouse clicking to increase the terrain and right mouse button to lower the terrain. Now, unfortunately, the audio uh, settings that I had for OBS got reset. And so um, from here on out, the audio is pre-recorded um, because I was just getting cut off all the time with the original audio. So hopefully I will try my best to show you what I'm doing here. Basically, I am creating a uh, height map using the raise and lower terrain and you want to start off big. So you want your brush to be pretty large and the intensity set to 100%. And just fill in the area for now and then you really want to make your brush just smaller when you get like your uh, general form and shape all laid out and once you you uh, get your general shape laid out you can go ahead and use other brushes such as the smooth tool and the flatten tool to create um, more realistic slopes on your mountains and then you just play with however you want your height map to look like. So what you saw there was pretty fast and I'll try my best to explain what I was doing. I was basically putting in color onto the height map using global operations. So you go to edit, global operations, and let's bring back, let's actually bring back my uh, 
worldview. This is a terrain I created just for an example. We go to edit global operations and you can change the terrain type to whatever uh, material you want. So if I wanted to make this to have like a stone like texture, you can just find stone and we want it above 45 degrees. Now if I hit go, this window will close. I want to add more textures to the uh, height map. So I'm just gonna keep this window open with that checkbox, hit go. You can see added stone uh, where a mountainside would be because grass wouldn't be growing on a really steep incline like that. We can even layer stuff. So let's say I wanna put snow on the stone. You can find snow and we only want it on the stone. So select only on stone. And because the stone is set at 45, anything at or below this will just replace the stone with snow. So we want it to maybe say like 55. And now you can see added snow in uh, above where the uh, stone is. And we can even do the same for like sand. So let's say we want to add a sand-like appearance on the coast. We would just hover our cursor over the edge and the bottom left it shows the height and the slope we would keep that into account so we go back to edit global operations fill with sand and we want it at or below and it was about 42 or so and uh below 12 degrees and we do that we get a pretty good rough outline of sand around the map so when you go to save your height map and you're ready you want to turn off the um, height contours and then go to file, export, export as high resolution height map. And I've already saved it to my desktop, so I don't need to save it again. And then you also want to export the image file. The image file is basically the color map of what we have here. And I'll save it also on desktop. And I already saved it, so I'm not gonna save it. After this is done, you would want to open file to box lazy GUI. So let's do that now. Once lazy GUI is open, you want to hit step one, browse, find where file to box is, locate your file, in this case, the height map. I'm going to leave output path the same. It should save the box file wherever you save the height map. So in this case, it will save in desktop. You want the color limit to be 15 anything um if it's 256 basically if you leave this blank it will fill the entire palette with the colors that we have here and i don't want that i only want it to be like 15 or something and then the height map we want it to be 256 and this is on the z-axis enable colors and right here color from file we want to find the uh basically the uh image file and then after that's done, you hit convert and let it run. So once you imported your file into Magical Voxel, you can go and open it. And then I'm just gonna constrict the voxels and move it to the world origin. And I'm just gonna tweak my landscape so that the colors look a little bit better because right now they're too saturated. And also I'm putting the objects into quadrants. So yeah, by default, Wall Painter uses quite saturated colors. So you just want to alt left click a color and then move the sliders on the bottom left, the palette to select the color you think looks best. And then now I'm just doing some post-processing, making the uh, water more realistic and changing the lighting effects, adding a skybox and increasing exposure and we have our island here. I hope this tutorial has helped and I'll catch you guys